Hey Dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about Jungkook and the thing going on online where he's possibly being slut-shamed for being a little too sexy. We're going to talk about that. We are going to get into it. I have a lot of thoughts on this and a lot of opinions. When do I not have thoughts and opinions? I also want to get into V kind of explaining his like in-bed photos that he has with someone else. We'll talk about it. We'll get into it. It's hilarious. So we do have some light and fun tea for you here today. So let's jump into it. Let's get into the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified anytime new video drops. And if you're a hater, like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now let's get into it. Now the very first thing that I want to talk about is Jungkook being slut shamed. And I don't mean in a playful way where the members are like making fun of him or teasing him. Nothing like that. Apparently this was a real issue that was online. And a lot of armies felt the need to say something and go ahead and tweet about it. Basically, if you did not know, BTS did have a virtual concert like just a few days ago. And in the concert, Jungkook decided that he wanted to kill us armies and decided not only to send us kisses which was the thing that happened he kissed us i'm pregnant he decided to go on stage wearing an extremely see-through mesh shirt i mean parts of the performance was dark but there were definitely parts where you could see and you were like oh my god that is mesh shirt and you could see nip like real nip Imagine showing Nip, oh my god. Savage King killing his armies. Now a lot of armies took this like lighthearted and fun. They really enjoyed the fact that Jungkook was doing this. They were saying that Jungkook turned 23 and thought it was a good idea to kill armies. One person on the tweet said even went as far to say this. Jungkook turned 23 and became a slut. I'm so happy for him. Now I personally see this tweet and some of the other tweets as good old fun. I know a lot of people online weren't taking some of those tweets as fun. However, I feel like there was no clear ill meaning behind tweets like that. It's very much in playful spirit. I mean, I call people I know sluts too. Maybe that's why I have no friends. But I don't see a reason to necessarily be offended by that. I also think that Jungkook dressed like that wasn't for no reason. He or his stylist obviously felt like it was the best for the performance and decided to give us a little sex of time. One person even brought up this point. The only good thing about the Rona is how increasingly slutty Jungkook has gotten. Keep him quarantined for a few more months and we might have a whole strip show. I don't know if that'll ever happen. I don't think any BTS members would actually do that. I think Big Hit's rules allegedly is that they can't take off their shirt or they can't be shirtless all the time. But that is just a rumor. We don't know if that's true or not. We do see Big Hit kind of censoring things from time to time. But if you keep going on the Twitter, you'll start to see less fun tweets and a little bit more serious ones where you're kind of like, are you joking or not? And they're very serious about calling Jungkook like bad things and have bad meanings to it. Now again, if these statements are in good spirit, then it's definitely not meant to be taken as seriously. But there are definitely comments online where people are making fun of the fact that Jungkook is wearing a see-through shirt. I mean, literally all artists do it. I don't see a problem with Jungkook doing it too. 90% of us armies aren't complaining, so. Some armies were concerned that if Jungkook had seen some of these messages after his steamy performance, and then would feel judged and no longer want to do said steamy performance. One person wrote, imagine him seeing this, Jungkook you slut. And I don't agree that Jungkook would see this and feel any type of way. Honestly, if the internet was calling me a slut for wearing a see-through shirt, I would honestly just laugh. First off, I don't believe being a slut is like an insult, but also it's not like men's private parts are on their chest. It's very much legal for a man to walk outside with no shirt on. But Jungkook is actually wearing something. It's just see-through. So it's not only legal, it's like legal on top of legal. So I honestly think he would laugh. If people were calling me slutty for that, I'd go on stage, take off my underwear, and be like, you want slutty, here, slutty. Armies, of course, very quickly jumped online to give their opinions on the slutty Jungkook. Nah, because people really out here calling Jungkook a slut or a bleep, like really, First of all, he is a grown 20 year old man. He can do whatever he wants. And if you got a problem with that, then that's on you. This man is so confident, like y'all look dumb trying to ruin a grown man. Right? Another point that is totally valid. Also, I saw some people online saying that the song called for a sexy moment, but even if the song didn't call for that, Jungkook wearing a see-through shirt, he is a grown man. And if he wanted to, he could totally wear a see-through shirt. He could wear no shirt. Imagine that. He could do whatever he wants. This is his choice, this is his body. He can do as he pleases. And you know what? If you don't enjoy watching that stuff, you can simply not watch that stuff. It's not a huge deal. I'm 
I'm sure as Jungkook gets older, he wants to do a little bit more older, sexy things. He's gonna want an audience that's gonna grow with him and grow with his new style. So if you're not into it, that's okay. This new style isn't for you. Just to be clear, I don't know if this is his new style or not. But there is never a reason, never a reason to leave a rude or awful comment about what people can do with their body. Calling people names in a serious way and degrading way. We live in this world where people get slut shamed all the time. And it's hard enough that people have to deal with that. And this is for women. Let's not make it for men too. People should be allowed to do what they want. Life is hard already. And now you gotta be careful on what you wear. It's too much. I say, who's down for being naked all the time? Which by the way, if people were more normal about human bodies and didn't make other people feel ashamed of their bodies, we would live in a society where we could wear anything and it would be okay. Imagine that. Also funny enough, I think slut, like the word back then, used to mean like dirty closet or something. How that got managed and twisted into what it means now, I don't know what happened. Armies had also been freaking out about the recent kind of bed stuff that is happening. Yes, we have bed stuff to talk about. This of course happened with Taeyang and Jimin. This wasn't necessarily recent, but Taeyang did come out and address recently an old moment with Jimin. They were kind of lying in bed together. You guys might remember this. It was this picture here, and I remember when I saw it on the internet, I totally freaked out. Us armies were like, what is going on? This is the cutest thing ever. How have we been so blessed by our babies? It was awesome. Now this was on the last episode of In the Soup, which I have not seen yet, but we are catching up on that over on the Patreon. I will be up on the eighth episode, hopefully very soon. But apparently V and Jimin were sleeping together on the bed, and I guess they decided not to go to bed right away, and decided to kind of continue scrolling on their phone. Absolutely relatable. Like, oh my god, I scroll on my phone too before I go to bed. I have to scroll at least for two hours. Finally, I guess they were scrolling on Weverse or Twitter, and later realized that the two probably hadn't taken a selfie in a really long time together. Because when the selfie was posted online, the internet went crazy. Everyone was saying how they hadn't taken a selfie in a long time, and this was like their like comeback selfie, and that we were blessed to get one. Which is so funny that they realized that too. Because as someone watching from the outside, sometimes I feel like it's only things that us armies notice, and like maybe we're the only ones keeping track of that. So it's nice to know that they're aware too. Or perhaps maybe an army reminded them and said, hey, you and Jimin haven't taken a selfie in a long time. And they were like, oh yeah, we haven't taken one in a long time. But we'll never know which one it actually is. So Tang ends up getting close to Jimin, they start snuggling up next to each other, and then they take their pick. To which, of course, it got posted on Weverse. And I definitely wanted to see overall what people were thinking or saying about this. I love seeing people's reactions to so many of these cute things like this. One person wrote, The behind of In the Soup was so cute and we finally got to see V-Min taking their selfie. It was extremely cute. I was definitely very curious how this selfie came about and I am so glad that I'm not the only one who was curious. It seems some people wanted to know like why were they together, why were they in bed together, and like why the picture was posted. Because I remember it did feel random, like a pleasant random. We were of course really happy about this. So having a little bit more context behind it really puts the full story in perspective. Because I actually remember theorizing a kind of story or meaning behind it, thinking that maybe Jimin was at V's house and then they were like hanging out together and decided to snap a picture. But it seems like that wasn't the case. Anyway, let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check some content out over there. It's a lot of exclusive content that I can't post here due to copyright and things like that, like reaction videos, music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions, also like reality TV show reactions and all that stuff. So make sure you go ahead and check it out if you're interested in that. Link in the top of the description down below. Also, anything you contribute over there also gives back to this channel, helps me make better videos. I have a video over on the Patreon explaining that, so make sure you go and check that out. With that said, there are two videos that will appear on the screen at the end of this video, so click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.